We begin with that breaking news. One of the two sergeants shot in the line of duty is out of the hospital and back home tonight. Fellow officers greeted Sergeant Christopher Leap with their signature clap out. The officer from Long Island eventually brought to his vehicle in a wheelchair. Meanwhile, just hours earlier, police say he had been shot with a bullet from this gun. The same bullet also hitting another sergeant at Eldridge and Delancey streets as they tried to capture the suspect accused of robbing women on Canal Street. We have team coverage tonight. Ali Bauman has more from the hospital, but we begin with Naveen Dhaliwal at the scene with what led up to the shooting. Naveen. Police say this shooting happened here on Eldridge Street, and it all started with a man robbing women while they were playing mahjong. And when cops caught up to him, he pulled out a gun. Chaos on the Lower East Side Thursday afternoon after a shot was fired at two police officers. I heard the shots. Boom, boom. Witnesses described the scene as they watched the officers apprehend a man. Point him. Stop, stop, stop. And then they, once they, they got on the top of the car. Police say around 4.15 they got a 911 call about a man who police are identifying as Joshua Dorsett robbing women of their purses during a mahjong game on the second floor of a Canal Street building. The officer spotted Dorsett on Eldridge Street. We saw a, guy, a cop running across the street all by himself chasing this guy. When they approached him... He begins to pull a loaded firearm out of his front pants, front pants pocket. A struggle begins for the possession of the gun. Police say Dorsett fired one shot. That bullet struck both officers. It was crazy. It was, it was crazy. It was like a movie. Investigators say they recovered an illegal gun at the scene. A single photo that highlights a danger officers face every day. Yet again, your officers confronted violent criminal who had no problem carrying an illegal gun on our streets. Investigators say Joshua Dorsett had three prior arrests. He's a known gang member, and just this morning he had a visit with his probation officer, and now he's back in jail. On the Lower East Side, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS News, New York. Meanwhile, we're learning more about who those injured sergeants are, and Ali Bauman continues our coverage from Bellevue Hospital in Kipps Bay. Thankfully, both sergeants are expected to make full recoveries. They were rushed here to Bellevue Hospital after the shooting, and tonight one sergeant is still being treated inside. NYPD Sergeant Christopher Leap leaves Bellevue Hospital in a wheelchair Thursday night alongside his pregnant wife, shyly waving at the applause from hundreds of his fellow officers. The 34-year-old neighborhood coordination sergeant rose from his wheelchair to shake the police commissioner's hand before heading home. They're in good spirits, but make no mistake, today could have turned out very different. Police raced to Bellevue Hospital in droves earlier to check on their injured brothers in blue. Leap, who has been with the department for 11 years, was grazed by a bullet alongside a 43-year-old public safety sergeant who was shot in the leg. Officers are on the front lines doing the dangerous work uh, to make our city safer. And we're told that 43-year-old sergeant has 16 years with the NYPD. He's expected to be released as early as Friday. Outside Bellevue Hospital in Kipps Bay, Ali Bauman, CBS News, New York. Allie, thank you, and do stay with CBS2 as we continue to follow this story. We'll bring you the latest developments about the other sergeant shot on air and online at cbsnewyork.com.